I'm Kevin Thomas, Senior Pastor at Forest Lake United Methodist. I sure hope you're enjoying these devotions based on our lectionary readings. The reading for today is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 44 through 53. This is the Gospel reading for the Ascension of Christ. And he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the Law of Moses and the Prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and see, I am sending upon you what my father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple blessing God. Sometimes we're a little slow to get the point. At the end of Luke's gospel, Jesus tells the disciples and the rest of us that his good news is to be proclaimed to all nations. It's Jesus' final commandment before he ascends into heaven. You'd think last words would lead to action. That day, the crowd didn't hear his words. If they did, they didn't understand them. And if they understand them, they disobeyed. Luke continues his story in the book of Acts. Through the first seven chapters of that book, the church still hasn't left Jerusalem. Finally, in Acts 8, only after Stephen is martyred, the gospel begins to seep out to some of us Gentiles. And it started catching on. Christianity grew so quickly among the Gentiles that in Acts 15, the church called a meeting to see if it was okay. Let that sink in just a minute. Jesus said the good news was for all nations. All nations started receiving the good news. Then the church had to have a meeting to see if what Jesus wanted was okay. Uh, The church wasn't sure it was ready to agree with Jesus. Ever since Acts 15, some of us in the church have felt the need to control the movement. Jewish Christians weren't sure Gentiles could become Christian. Catholics doubted the faith of Protestants. Men weren't sure women could lead. White Christians pushed African-American Christians aside. Where did we get the notion that we're in control? The church belongs to Christ. Christ sent the message to all. All means all. Rather than trying to limit or control God's redemptive actions in the world, why don't we watch for the way the Spirit moves among all people? Why don't we celebrate how God's limitless love reaches people we've too often ignored? Let Christ lead the church while we join together with people of every background to celebrate what God is doing.